What's up guys and welcome to Starfield. This game needs no introduction from me. This is going to be one of the biggest releases of this year and honestly of this decade. So I hope you guys are ready to embark on a grand journey. Huge thank you to Bethesda for the early access. The game comes out on September 6th. But if you get the premium edition, you can actually be playing it right now as well. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Bethesda Game Studios presents... Starfield. This game's gonna be massive, dude. May 7th, 2330. Argos Extractor's mining outpost on the moon of Vectera. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Lovely. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <laughs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you. Behind. Promises, promises. Welcome to the mines of Victera. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we fill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Dreams of good. Ugh, look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Come on, Calvert! Get it together, bro! Break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say? Lynn okay. runs a tight ship, huh? You make your cut, you'll catch your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. What are you waiting for? Dig. Um, yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to take the cutter here. And we want to go collect... Uh, I think we'll be done here soon. Mineral oh, deposits. Yeah, Excuse me, sir. They're just beautiful. Okay. That's two. And there's three. Looks like we auto regen our energy here on this cutter. Come on. It's time. You're with me. Looks like our tutorial's over.
punched a new hole in the wall, huh? Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. That's what they all say. It's just another job. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, that makes uh, me feel really great. Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Alright. Hold LB to turn the flashlight on and off. Let's... We can collect some of this, can't we? Gonna collect what we can while we can. I don't even know if we're picking anything up here. We're adding beryllium. Not sure what that's used for, but I'm sure we're gonna Did find this. Anything? Doesn't look promising. Little intimidating. Use a cutter to break up the mineral deposits. All right. I don't know. There's another calcite deposit. We can take it now. I feel like this is a bad idea. Waking up in a hospital. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? It's like they have the piece that we were going after. All right, so we need to... Oh, this is our character creator. They've got 40 different defaults you can choose from. We can customize after that. We can choose between thin, muscular, and heavy. Looks like that might affect our attributes some. I'm gonna go for maybe like like that. Tons of different styles of hair here. I'm gonna put some earrings in here, mix it up a little bit. Look at all the backgrounds you could have, and each one of these has different starting skills. So this is where I panic a little bit. Analysis paralysis. There's a couple really good ones in here that I like a lot. I mean, honestly, Beast Hunter is good. You get fitness, which is increased level of physical fitness. Ballistic, so you're good with weapons, and then gastronomy, so you can, you know, make nice meals, and I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of buffs from that. Bounty Hunter looks really good. Piloting, targeting, control system so anything in a spaceship you're gonna be good with and you also get a jetpack cyber runner i think i'm probably leaning towards the most stealth security to be able to break down you know locks and codes and security and stuff and then theft i, I just i like being stealthy diplomat i think might be one of the best ones persuasion is always huge in these games commerce so you can get the best prices for things and then also wellness so you're gonna have an overall better sense of health i honestly think that might be one of the strongest options soldier sounds really good you've got increased fitness you're good with weapons and you've got the boost pack i mean that's just kind of like your basic offense guy dude i might go diplomat I was really tempted to go with the sneaky one, but I just, I feel like being able to talk your way out of situations and improving your business. And I, I'm going to go diplomat. The wars are over. Peace now reigns the settled systems, but only because there are those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heated, lives were spared. Hopefully we don't regret that. I would like to go a little more offense, but I, I think that eventually is, is really going to help us out. And now we get to pick 
three traits from a whole bunch here. There's one called Dream Home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a $125,000 credit mortgage that has to be paid weekly. I'll pass on that. Hero Worship gives you an adoring fan who shows up randomly and jabbers at you incessantly, but he brings gifts. Oh my gosh. Your parents are alive and well. You can visit them at home but you'll automatically send 2% of your credits home every week. I feel like empath is good, especially with the fact that we're a diplomat. You're deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companion likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the opposite effect. I mean, I, I think that's a safe one. A lot of these honestly have bigger downsides than upsides. There are some here where there's, I think there's five different factions in the game. There's the Freestar Collective, Settler, Raised Universal, you're a member of the Sanctum Universum. Here, you're a member of the Enlightened. I don't even know these factions, so I don't want to choose any of those. Some of them are like, you're better in space, but you're bad on land. Or there's one where you're better on land, but you're bad in space. Like, I, I just, I feel like a lot of these maybe aren't the best. I might do Hero Worshipped. I can deal with an annoying fan. I'm going to do a sci-fi name generator for space. Jace Jan or JJ, I guess we could go with kind of a weird one, but I'm, I'm just going to go with the first one that popped up. Former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? I touched the butt. Um... It's incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Can switch between third and first person? Ooh. Okay. Oh, we've even got a, a back camera here. I kind of like Our first person, though. constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Whoa, <laughs> not to you them, don't look apparently. good. I mean, that's just not nice to say to somebody. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Let's go into our inventory here. We can equip our deep mining space helmet. We're good to enter the airlock here. Whoa. Dude, this is amazing. Here comes our explorers. Dude, this is so cool, man. <laughs> Welcome to our humble moon here. I think we have something you might be interested in, huh? The scale of everything here is just ridiculous. Sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? 
Right here. A new guy found it. That's me, sir. Tad right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? A little bit. Could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Hold off the pirates, we're get ready. We got we got problems. Optional grab a weapon. Do we grab a weapon? I mean I'm down. Go to our inventory. I'm gonna I'm gonna select the, can we put this on any sort of a I can favorite it. I'm gonna try to flank a little bit here. Ooh. Oh. 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 Woo! Got pirates over here on the right. Maybe try to get headshots. Two down there. One more over here. Would imagine we're not going to be friends with the pirates much longer if we ever were. Got him there. We're good? I think so. an interesting guy, I guess. That was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Um... You can take me off this Not moon, I'm down. With honest work. Although, um... Uh, yeah, yes. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Appreciate you, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. <laughs> very well. This is not oh, the first hey, time. Take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. <laughs> A watch, thanks. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Um... What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. So he's an explorer. Um, what? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Okay, so we're going to answer that question of what that thing was. They're it's just a crimson the fleet. Loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a... Loot collector. Interesting. All right. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> we're still in one piece. Now we're leaving our friends behind. Okay. All that we know. To hop into a mysterious ship with the random robot we just met. I'll meet you in there, bud. And I'm 
Down if it gets me out of here, I don't want to be working in the mines my entire life. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I know nothing I about flying ships, sir. The shields, just in case there are any difficulties. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Okay. Take off. It's time to blow this popsicle stand. It's just wild to me how many options we had to choose from there. We could have been a pilot. We could be a pro at this. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Interesting. So we've got lasers. Engines. engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. But we're going to have to drop stuff to be able to do that. So if we drop shields, we can go up on engines. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with we're a gauge full speed that goes now. up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars. So this is where right. we perform the best. Intr th th this is crazy could drop lasers so we can't attack back but then we could put our shields back on if we wanted boost with left okay that's pretty cool you've proven an adequate pilot are you familiar with ship combat tactics because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop engine. I'm gonna add to shield and lasers. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. And we're gonna go to work here. Let me get a little boost. The enemy ship centered on the HUD. We can walk in to fire a homing missile. Okay. How do we? Oh, missile is Y. Oh. Well, this is going pretty well for us. Enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Money. I need some more missiles here. They're done. Beautiful. What's grav? Gravity. On surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Dude, this is sick. Fly close to shipwrecks and press A to loot them. I... <laughs> Just run right into it. This is the actual shipwreck over here. Looted it. Beautiful. So we can come out here and, and fire on other people, destroy their ships, and then loot them. At any point that we want. We could become a space pirate if we wanted. Ships are jumping into our location, Captain. All right. We're gonna want to take care of business here. Press A to cycle between targets. We got multiple targets here. Lock. Let's start firing some missiles. Be done. Is that you, Barrett? Give up that loot. Come on, baby. Let's get this to a 1v1. They're down. Second one's gonna be down here. So if we go there and we take them out, 
that's going to stop them from continuing to attack us. Uh, press to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Mission ship star map. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once. So distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is where we may want to go to Crete. So we can go down here. The Crete Research Lab. This is our next objective. We can travel to Crete. Sick. The scale is just ridiculous. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. So I'm going to put us full speed ahead down towards the bottom here. Where shields are offline. You can... We could open the star map again. Can we just warp down there? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, helps you discover key landing sites, rotate the planet until Crete Research Lab is in view, and then select it to land there. So we can, okay. We don't have to actually fly all the way down there. We have an option to fast travel. And I thought we were supposed to be going to talk to Constellation about this new landing area. This new piece that we found, but I guess we're fighting space pirates now. Vasco? Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. We've traveled to their research lab here. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm a, a diplomat here to talk peace, please. Med pack and antibiotics. Sounds good. Here we go. I don't think we're going to be able to talk our way out of this one. O2 is consumed with exertions such as sprinting, melee attacks, and jumping. Okay. Did they desert this place? We saw the... The ship departing right as we got here. these things it's really hard to see if I turn this on I feel like we don't need that little stuff definitely thought I was gonna be able to sneak up on him there it didn't work out it's fine no, you don't. Ah. Woo! Some of the abilities we could have chose were like sword melee abilities, which I feel like is kind of interesting. Can we loot these guys after? Ooh, she's got an axe. Seven millimeter ammo. Definitely have to be checking bodies after we're done. What is a Terramorphy? Oh, <laughs> Dude, this is crazy how we can go in and grab all this stuff. I feel like we're going to get loaded down with items. Definitely hit the health boxes every time, though. Are they watching a movie? Or what, what was that Terramorphy about? It sounded like it was not a good thing. 
feel like the med kit, anything glowing, I feel like is really important. Ammo cases. Can we sneak? Huh? How did you hear me? Not today. He's down. I heard somebody else over here, I feel like. Maybe not. Can I pick up his weapon? Up top. We have five weapons now. We've got a Grindel Maelstrom Rescue Axe. I'm gonna put the Maelstrom on. Let's favorite this, and I'm gonna put that two up. We don't have a ton of ammo for it, but... Not the most efficient use of, of ammo, but neither is this thing when I miss. Down. Beautiful. Just gonna keep looking for any sort of loot we can find. Anybody up here? Dude, there's just so much to uncover. Weapon cases. I can take a microscope. I don't think I need that. What did I get there? An Equinox laser rifle? Don't mind if I do. I'll, I'll put this up two on our up button. Try this thing out. I think kind of shreds a little bit. He's dead. Leveled up. Anybody else here? Up top, maybe? Woo! Take whatever you have. Lots of repeat weapons that we're picking up. Oh, this thing is a freaking beast. I feel like there's a million different labs and things to check out. Notepads? I don't think we want a notepad, Trev. But a towel, whatever? I couldn't tell you. We're just gonna keep pushing. I feel like these games, I always, especially early on, I always start trying to collect everything and it's like it just ends up being a big waste of time and, and money. Or space, more than anything. We pick up this. Dr. Wynn Emergency Slate? The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. Oh, shit! What the... Fudge! Call in the cavalry. I thought that was gonna be the Terramorph. Feed xenobiologist. Fill in all open slots, every layer to open the lock, select a key and rotate it to the lines, line up with the gaps in the security layer, slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. I see how we do this. Okay, I, I got it now. Bam, that one, and then this one can go over here. Nicely done. So we got 777 millimeter caseless, an amp, modified Eon, and a synapse alpha. Beautiful. We're gonna go upstairs. The little creepy crawly stuff, I don't do. The, the enemies, the whatever, I'm fine with. The creepy crawlies, I don't do. I don't even know what we're taking from 99% of this stuff, but I'm just grabbing it all. Don't make it too easy for me. Shoot, we're out of ammo though. They're bringing more in. He's dead. We got more landing over here. What's going on? Modified Maelstrom. Probably want to pick that up, don't I? Epic Rifle. Okay, we're going to put this over our normal Maelstrom. Is this enemies? Looks like we have enemies over here. Don't really want to waste ammo from that far. He's done. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go pick up what these guys dropped over here. I feel like ammo is, is kind of a bit of an issue thus far. Again, don't want to waste ammo. All right, if they're gonna sit here, we can take pop shots all day. He's dead. And he's dead. Is that it? I'm gonna head over here. Hopefully not take any fall damage. We can fast travel to our ship, press LB to open the scanner. I'm gonna take this stuff, I guess. I don't know if weapons are worth anything. We've been picking up a bunch of weapons. I, I doubt they're worth it. This guy fell down here. Grab his stuff. And our first base has been uh, has been taken care of. So we're going to select our ship. We can fast travel. Cool. All right. Get our little scanner out. We can move around. We must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system. And then land in the city of New Atlantis. Don't worry, this will all become second nature before I hope so. That's a pretty good first run of it, though. Not bad. Would a grab jump to Jemison? Oh, wow. Which is all the way over here. Alpha Centauri. Where to jump? Oh, so now we want to power up the grav drive. We're going to take down, like, lasers and stuff. Power up our grav drive. We're going to be able to make a, a jump to the other side of the galaxy. Holy cow. Entering a patrolled area. There's no Starship contraband on the ship. This is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. We're being scanned. They're not going to find anything. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. So we can select New Atlantis here and lands. Welcome to civilization. Our first time off of a stranded moon. Took care of the pirates chasing us. We made it. Hey, Bosco. How you doing, sir? Is this New Atlantis? Did I make and it to the right place? You captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. We can get repairs. We can view and modify ships. He's got ships for sale. Sell things. Get more crew for our ship. I don't Everything think we have to worry about this here. yet. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Appreciate it. Dude, look at this. Welcome to civilization. It feels good. I can't figure out how to get this fast travel directly from the missions menu thing to go away. It's saying press start. If we go to our missions menu, it's like here, go to the lodge in the mass district. We can set course, fast travel, but it's it's not going away. So hopefully that's going to go away, away with time. But welcome home. On a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. Uh oh, sounds like we've got some trouble in paradise here. We got little robots running around. Okay. This is just insane. So we could get up to some bad stuff if we wanted to. We we could be a bad guy and come in here with a bounty or contraband or things the world is our oyster so it looks like we're gonna be taking this you ran out of o2 further exertion will cause co2 buildup we don't want to do that we're gonna to go to the mast district lodge has been discovered okay our watch is our entrance our key into the lodge. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, wait. This is 
think what I'm suggesting is so outlandish? We appear to have a visitor. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Well, he sent me in his place. Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? You guys can trust me. What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I mean, it's kind of a, a blur. Let's... We Ask think the question. Anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time? Why? We're not sure yet. So, if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Sure thing. It's bright lights, loud music. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. <laughs> Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether oh, they've got a couple pieces down. here. Expect us to believe in fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. <laughs> well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I mean, I kind of like this group so far. Um. Hmm. What happens you next? Take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Beautiful. We got XP, we got credits. We've got a new skill point. We got a constellation pack for exploration out there. We can take a look at our skill point skills here. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. Top arrow represent or top row represents basic skills. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked into you. Top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. So it looks like we've got physical, social, combat, science, and tech. I mean, with theft, we unlock the ability to pickpocket targets. I think I'm gonna get that for sure. Then I think I'm gonna get ballistic. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. That sounds really good. I mean, we could upgrade like our, our commerce, 
Our, oh, we need to do the challenges first, though. This is interesting. Geology, aerodynamics, ballistic weapon systems. There's a lot going on here. I think I'm going to go ballistics here. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. That's going to add up over time. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I mean... I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Hmm. <laughs> Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an... Electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Perfect. Got it. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I like that. We could be who we are. Sounds reckless. What do you mean you don't care as long as I... <laughs> I mean, Constellation is a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join I us, like this. it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I mean, lady, you did just see I spent my very first skill point in this game on learning how to pickpocket. I think uh, I might be cut out for this job. It did say talk to oh, Noel. Well. makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I Gotta be well. thrust into a new it's group really here. nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. You're welcome, Noel. I appreciate you. Uh, Sarah said something about a place for me to Planning stay. Planning sticking around them? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. I like this group. It's the first group that we've met outside of our mining partners. Obviously, it feels good not to be stuck on that moon anymore, but I do like them. I like that they let their people kind of be their people. They all have a common goal. They work together. They respect each other and their boundaries and histories and things like that. Seem like they've got it figured out. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Got their own bar that we can indulge in, and it sounds like they've already got a room for us. Interesting. This game is just so massive. Look at all these doors and hallways and things. This is me? Okay, right this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! She's right there. I think she wants to go out and go on our first mission together. All right. So this is our uh, humble abode. We've got a safe. We can transfer things into our safe if we want. We could go through our inventory and put weapons and things in there. Let's get out of here. We can't stay here for too long. We're going to go start on this journey of finding the next piece of whatever this item is, this mysterious item. Welcome to the mass lobby. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Hmm. All right, Maybe later. All right. 
Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. <laughs> Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Sounds like we might need to talk to him. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Thanks, John. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. So we could join the UC if we wanted, but I think I'm going to be on the other side of the law. So now we need to go to Sidonia and set our course from our mission here. We're going to jump over to Soul Mars. I like that you don't have to... You are, Captain. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. No contraband here. We're going to be good. Welcome to Mars, fellas. Scan complete. You're clear to land. So we're going to be going to Sidonia here. Let's land down there. We're going to head to the bars. We're going to try to find this Mo Moira. From Shit's Creek. We might be at the bars. And we'll see what we've got going on. Welcome to Mars, huh? Sidonia. Here we go. Wow. What a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. <laughs> I don't think I would call this delightful. That's for sure. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. <laughs> Gonna have to go through an airlock here. This is crazy to think that maybe at some point, hundreds of years from now, we might be on a level like this. Technology. Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything suspicious. You don't want to catch yourself with a loose group on your I'm gonna talk to the bartender. Jack! A lot of new faces face on the surface of he ain't been around. Ridiculous. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. So he might be in trouble. You could track him down if you know his patrol route. Uh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. So he comes and gets drunk and goes out on patrol. Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. <laughs> it's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? This might be where our diplomacy comes in. We are a diplomat. I'm gonna persuade him. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choices succeed. Okay, interesting. I'm sure we could work something out. What matters to you more than money or Mora's life? I want you to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. I want him found. I do. All right, I got it done. I'm just trying to earn a living here. Let's go. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, just singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus, that's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. 
Subterranean particle detonation. Oh man. This definitely doesn't seem like the planet I want to be living on. Alright. We're gonna get out of here. So we think he could be on Venus. I mean, we can set our course and travel. I don't know how we're gonna find him. It's a Just big place, but. And we'll get underway. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealot. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Oh boy, um... No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Okay, so we've got an issue. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Perfect, and we don't want to alert those ships. So we need to get close to the beacon without exactly. being attacked. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay. That works for me. Minimize ship system power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars of your engines and stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of satellite beacon so you can activate it. Alright, so we're going to turn down everything. We're just going to put one little thing on our engine. We don't even want to go full speed. We're going to go very slow here. This is so cool. I love this the stealth aspect. Like, those big ships up there, they don't know we're here. Just gonna keep it low and slow. We'll never suspect a thing. So this is a little beacon that tracks ships in the area. Should be able to download the logs from this thing and maybe we'll be able to find our guy. Activate. We're going to Earth, baby. Sounds good to me. Ooh, she does not look as good as she once did. And then here's here's Luna. So you can travel to Luna. Big ball in the sky. I don't think the, the moon should be that big in comparison to Earth, but ooh, is this it? What happened to Earth anyway? Why we leave it? Ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm very tempted to go down there and, and check it out. Let's see if... Ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. We're gonna go see if Mora's over on this moon base. Uh, most stations, star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You just select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it so that the dock prompt appears. Alright, let's power up our engines again. We're gonna come in hot. So they had a 50 year warning to evacuate Earth and that's what kind of spawned all of us living out here. Trying to slow this down here. How do we dock? How close do you want me to get? Ah, that's really close, Trev. There it is. Get it. <laughs> it's my first day as a pilot, all right? We're gonna be fun. Well, that was fun. Now what? Oh, God. Okay. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in the way. Even less organized than the crew. 
Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. The digi picks are always good. Scissors value of We need to find a way to sell all of our stuff. Utility flight suit. That sounds pretty good. I love. 195 value. I don't know what's value. Like 195 sounds like a decently big number, right? Wire spool. That's probably used in crafting. Desktop organizer. We definitely have a lot of stuff in our inventory. We could try to maximize our inventory here. So like we've got all these weapons and these are worth upwards of a thousand or more. So like I, I want to sell these. We need to find somebody to sell those to. These are the things we just picked up. Where's like our random BS that we've picked up? Miscellaneous maybe? We picked up a, a lodge key. I mean, it's got zero mass, so I'm not worried about that. The microscope has quite a bit of mass. The notepad is not good, Trev. Let's drop that. The scissors, we're going to drop those. Wire spool, we'll keep. We're just going to be over encumbered for a little bit. Eventually, when we get back to civilization, we're going to try to uh, to sell some of this stuff. Ooh. These guys all had a, a bad day. That's for sure. Digipix are always good. I'm trying to... Ooh. Lock is too difficult. Can't pick that yet. All right. I don't like this. There's fighting going on. Big mistake. I don't know whose side we're on, but I'm... I'm popping off. I don't think I'm on either side here. They're they're both they're both bad. Sarah, are you good? A little bit nervous about your health here. I really don't want to be left here alone. All right, I'm gonna use our pistol. I'm gonna take whatever's in here. First aid kit. He's almost dead. They're down. Dead. We are taking a lot of damage here. Try to push up here. Down. Woo! There's a whole bunch of these guys. I see a bunch of red on our radar too. You good, girl? Down. Beautiful. That's... This side clean? I think there's more over on that side. Holy cow. I'm going to loot all these guys. That's for sure. There's more people down here, though. These spacers that we're going to have to worry about. So we walked in on some sort of a, a big fight. I don't think they were expecting us. We were able to clear both of them. These guys scare me a little bit. Level 8. Down. Oop. Woo! We killed their... Or shot their jetpack there, I think. Down. Oop. Hang on there. They keep using this doorway here. Come on. Got him. A couple left. One there. One over here. Hey, oh! Caught him reloading. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Modify Grindle. There's a lot of stuff on these guys. I'm going to make sure we loot everyone. It is a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. Stressed management can help. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit st stressed here. We're in a scary space station outside of a desolate planet that we used to call home. I guess our character probably never knew of this place as home. Desperately need to go sell a bunch of our stuff. There's a workroom up here. Freaking kidding me, dude. One down. This guy is incredibly strong. He's almost dead. Just keep spamming him. Is he dead? Woo! Down. Let's 
just try to crawl away. I'm not gonna let that happen. He's dead. That was a, a big boy right there. Got a little one over here. They're all trying to crawl away. Dude, this place is so ma I just don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking. We're way overloaded, too. We- I'm looking forward to getting back. There are so many little chests and stuff. Authentic manifold. I don't even know what that is. This looks like a potentially working ship. Should we go in this? Do we think we might be able to find him in here? Vanguard Mora Slate! This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Oh my goodness, man. I'm going to man. put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Shut up, Moira, baby. So he's he's over on Neptune. So we're getting a full tour of our uh, solar system. This should be Neptune, right? Try to find him on Neptune. It's crazy. Thinking about just how long ago this solar system would have been explored. You know what I mean? Um, Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Where? I don't see his... Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Oh boy. Okay. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Or it's like just my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they've locked me down. Really could use an assist. Oh shoot, okay. Sounds good to me, so target, target the engines here. Focus the engines. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you will be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew That's to it. fight back. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. I mean, I just don't want them to see us coming. We're going to slam into them, knock everyone back. They're all going to be waking up from that giant Captain hit they just took. Captain on deck. Alright. Well. They know where we're going to be coming from, huh? Let me grab a new weapon. There's one way to board this ship and we're we're in it. Oh, this way. We got a fight ahead of us here. As expected, they were... Just sitting here camping, waiting for us. Level five, let's go. We have some skill points we gotta spend. Not worried about it right now. Somebody over on the right. Damn cold here. Going to need a hot cup of coffee after this. The heck, your suit's protection is depleted. You're taking environmental damage. You have an affliction. Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. Go to your inventory. Look for items and aid that match your afflictions. We've got burns, heal paste. Okay. Burns have been cured. I think he shot something behind us. I'm I'm not sure. Let me take these. We're good thus far. Or a ship key. Beautiful. Keep going. Is this Mora? How you doing, bro? I saved you. Good to see ya. I've been looking for you all <sighs> over the galaxy. You two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Uh, we're from the Explorers Group, Constellation. We need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. <laughs> mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be better in our hands hey, for sure. I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Perfect. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Is he? Oh, it's right here. He's, he's just legitimately had this as a hood ornament. Let's get back to the lodge. 
I am ready to go back to the lodge. All right, I'm going to take... Uh, so one thing I did, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. I'm going to take all the stuff on them. You can't fast travel when you're over encumbered, but you can give your items to your partner. I'm going to trade Grindles to her. Anything that we picked up that has a lot of mass, we need to get our mass back under 135. I'm going to sort by mass here. This Technician's Navigator Pack, Basic Boost Pack, it's worth quite a bit, 942. So I'm going to trade this to her. We're back to 135. We're good to go, and hopefully she's okay. She's got 45 mass left. Okay. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to I'm gonna pick everything up. Oop. Credits. Beautiful. I'm going to pick up all this stuff, and then once we get back to base, I'm going to sell it. And we're going to be able to uh, make some money. So we're going to back out of the soul system here. We're going to want to go back to Alpha Centauri. And we're going to want to go to Jemison, our new home. I mean, this kind of looks like the Earth a little bit, does it not? All right. We're going to go straight back to the lodge. Go ahead. Do this is honest. all exciting, but... Sweet. There's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. It fits. We're doing something right so far. It spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Interesting. That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Beautiful. It's an honor. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. I mean, I like and Sarah I want so far. you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. You got it. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? Barrett. A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Okay. So we've got a few different missions we could go for. I, my first thing is, is Until I, later. I want to go try to sell some stuff. I'm not even sure where we would sell things, but I, I want to go sell them. We need to find a place. Sergeant, got a medical shop over here. What is this? New Atlantis information. I'm literally going to an information booth. Um, follows a list of corporations and businesses that have found a home. Um, looking to brew coffee. I, I don't... Is there a place you can sell stuff? It's like there's a, a clothing store here. You guys interested in the... I may assist you. Any guns? You won't by chance? find a larger array of options in all the settled systems. Be my guest. He's got a bunch of apparel you can buy. We can sell apparel. We can sell like our flight suits and stuff. I'm glad you came in. Thank you. All right, so we need to find someone that sells weapons and they might buy weapons. I feel like weapons are probably the biggest thing that we have duplicates of. She's locked and loaded. Orion Tower. Dude, this game, honestly, it's just, it's impossibly large. Reliant Medical. This is a hospital. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. This is our adoring fan. By this Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. <laughs> I can't believe it. What's is up, bro? It is it really, really you? It's me in the flesh. Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Um, it's me. Then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. So this is that, but uh, now that the I perk that we added. You, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. You trying to buy any guns, but bro? I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Uh, it's clearly I destiny, know, my man. Right? 
And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. <laughs> but why would you in this case? I like anyway, this guy. It's such an honor to meet you. Good to see you, bud. Appreciate hey, it. Thanks for your fandom. Do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? I think I'm good. I'm, I'm going to stick with I Sarah. Saying? You're a hero. Of course you do. Lead the way. Assigning the adoring fan to your crew will make him essential until unassigned. I'm going to say... If you're going to be my sidekick, won't you need Good a costume? Point. I'll start working on it right away. As soon as I learn how to sew. It's a good project for you to Until go work then, on. Maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? <laughs> if not, I can start one. Yeah, go, go on. Um, I'm going to say... I didn't agree oh, to this. I should have known better. Obviously, someone of your stature doesn't need any help. I'll just continue to monitor your exploits from afar. It's respectful. But hopefully, not too far. Until we meet again. Have a good one, man. Appreciate it. The way he ran up on me, I was a little bit, a little bit concerned. He's not really walking very... I'm just going to slow... Lead back away. I'm thinking let's go back to Victera. Argos Extractors is packing up operations, but there's no word about Barrett. Need to go there and find out what happened. So we're going to go back where everything started. Let's set a course. And we are going to go to the Argos Extractors mining outpost. Lynn! Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More what happened? Pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Oh, no. Since their loss hit you harder than you realized, you cared about him. You're right. You tell yourself you got deadlines, that the credits are what matter. But it's people doing the job, not machines. Lynn, you've grown. You think if you're strict with them that they'll focus on the work. Give you a little distance if things go wrong. But you want them to win. Every boss does. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Oh no, that doesn't Not sound good. Not for them good. anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Let's go! He drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. Okay. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> Uh... I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. So we're gonna have to track down this pirate ship. the last I saw of either of them. Need to find them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. I feel bad. Okay, so we could try to fix this comms computer and we might be able to track down where this pirate ship went. How do we get this thing to... There. Wasn't sure how to get it open. I'll take some credits there. 73 credits. Yeah, we have a ton of... Uh, We've got a ton of, of weapons and things we need to sell. It should be very helpful with our credit situation. Although, to be honest, we haven't really had to buy anything yet. So, it's in here. I'm just going to take them all. Why not? Going this way. There's just so much stuff you can always grab in this game. 
back there. Door's locked. We're gonna have to unlock it here. We'll go here. This one will get this, and this one will get these. Beautiful. We ended up working it out. Where did you learn to pick up? You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. <laughs> I can get it done. All right. Our communications computer. We need to look for a power source. You'll, you notice some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to use standard power cells. These? So we need power cells. And it looks like we might have power cells outside. You wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I'm packing up dust. Need a power cell to repair it. Do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more? Feel free to scavenge around. Okay. So sh she gave us a power cell. Can grab a power cell from this guy over here. Check for power cells. You caught a single power cell. And then it looks like we're going to go in here. We're going to be able to grab one more. Slowly but surely making our way. Dude, the, the realism of this game is just like... You could have... Could I take a power cell from this? A lot of components are sealed, but you managed to pry loose a single cell. I'm also gonna take... Can I take this med kit? Can I close this? Should be able to reach it. Beautiful. Med pack. Um, the realism of this game is just like... It. The fact that we're running around trying to fix power cells right now. We're having to go all over the base. You have to open up every door yourself. Like, it, it's just... You can completely get lost... In this world. It is insane. I, I'm like, I'm just... I haven't played a ton of games like Fallout and Skyrim and stuff like that. Like, I've dabbled in them, but I don't think I've ever, like, sat down and, and gone 100% completion on any of them. This is just... This is wild. we got to put our power cells back in here. I forgot. So we'll put these here. Two and three. Computer should be working now. And we hopefully can track down where Barrett went. Emergency transmission. Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. Barrett. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. I'm looking forward to it, bud. Doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. I'm gonna do my best. I'm coming for you, bud. All right. So he thought ahead there. Was able to uh, send data on where they were headed, their calculations and everything. Let's head back outside. I think we're going to want to go to our ship. Maybe let Lynn know where we're going. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But let's go try to find him. So, you actually get that computer working again? We did. Uh, found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive. I still never want to see him again. <laughs> Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. I like this new version of Lynn, huh? Can we recruit her as crew? You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come Work along. Me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. She's good in demol- Ooh. Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew of different skills which enhance your ship or outpost. So I'm going to- I'm going to assign her to our ship. Sarah Morgan we could assign to the ship as well. You can see their different skills. She's good in 
demolitions and outpost management, dude. The right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. So when we have an outpost, we're going to want to assign her to it. That's where she's going to excel. All right. Let's go back to our ship. We're going to go try to save these numb nuts. I'm just going to keep saying that I can't wrap my head around the scale of this game. And, and the fact that we haven't really even explored much at all. Like, we are just barely touching the surface. So we've got our, uh, back to Victoria. We are going to travel to Miatha. Set our course here. Let's make the jump. It's a little intimidating, if I'm being honest, especially from the, the perspective of a YouTuber. Like, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know how. Is this going to be a hundred episode series with hour long episodes and, and more? I don't know. I, I have no idea how we're going to make this work. I don't know if we're going to end up playing the whole thing. I, I don't know. I, we, we're going to have to just mess around with it and see what happens. Crashed ship right here. There's also an abandoned Moybridge pharmaceutical slab. I would imagine the crashed ship is probably where we want to go. So the pirates kidnapped them and then crashed. Get out of here. Stay put here. Beautiful starship view. What is this? Aluminum deposit? Shoot, I think I dropped my drill. <laughs> Whoops. Toxic gas vents. Definitely want to try to stay away from those. Yeah, I dropped my drill when we were having inventory issues and we wanted to use hand scanner to place an outpost beacon I'm just gonna go find this ship and see what we got going on but yeah we had the inventory issue when we were way over encumbered I, I dropped my drill from the first mission so we're not gonna be collecting any raw resources anytime soon Do we have Sarah with us she's with us she's just not a jumper is this ship where our friends could be? Is it Heller? Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. He doesn't look good. Lucky me, right? Hold still, I'll patch nah. you up, bud. Nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Um, so we had a plan? Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Just to explain why the ship crashed. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean... I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. The Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot something Bingo. he shouldn't have. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to... There he was, smiling <laughs> like it was just another day on the job. Barrett gets it, it done, baby. The fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Man, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, well, where's Barrett? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? My man's feeling good. Oh, 
I was real excited when oh, the no. ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a crimson fleet ship. And then, Heller's not a very good really, storyteller. Really less excited when Barrett said, "It's okay, I got this." He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. It's, it just kind of drags it out a little bit. Um. It's a long way of saying the pirates have yeah. Barrett. You know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me laying here half conscious, <laughs> really. Sorry to be impatient, Heller. It's got a signal you're good, bro. from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> here you go. Hey. Uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. I think you should probably... Yeah, um... Let's get you... Eh, should go back to Argos? I think Argos is probably gonna write this whole thing off. Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. So we're just gonna... I hope. I mean, I'm down. Let's get you yeah. on your feet. Just, uh... Don't ask me to operate any heavy... We're going to hire all of our old friends. We're going to have a whole crew. Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm down. We can re recruit you. As long as you're Don't ready to work, bro. Don't think be a spot for me on your ship? I got to get off this rock. He's got geology and outpost engineering. Sounds good, yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Well, we're going to go get Barrett for sure. Um, so, Valomiatha. Or... So, we've got an outpost engineering and outpost management specialties. When we have an outpost, that's probably going to be pretty good. We don't currently have an outpost. I think we can make an outpost anywhere we want. I, I you think. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. I think we just claim a, a home base. Listen to emergency transmission. O two. Is that going to be in our inventory? Maybe in notes. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. <laughs> He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, this guy's yeah, sharp. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. So we found their outpost. Extreme solar radiation planetary condition. That's not good. Extreme cold. This seems like a really bad place to live, huh? We've got level sixes out here. All right. I was gonna try to be a like a little a little stealthy, but I guess that's not the case here. We got a level ten up top. He's down. There's stuff up top there. Oh. I hate the guys that run at you with the axes. Really, really, just not not a fan. That one was stuck. Luckily, there's somebody all the way up there. All right, I'm just gonna go. How do I get in in the base? Whoever that guy is, he's really messing us up. Try to go out and around. Oh, he's a level 16. That's why. Dude's got perfect accuracy. I'm going to say we probably want to come in here with the... There we go. We're getting crits and stuff. We're fine. Come on. Kind of have her st stuck. I mean, this is... Kind of a little, a little cheap. I feel like she's down. Let's go. Good night. Want to make sure she can't get back up. Is the white shield and then we got 25 XP for that. That's good. Lacerate pacifiers. 
shotgun shells. Beautiful. Now we just have some more normal people down here. Oh, there's turrets and stuff too. Not really doing much damage against those. All right, this, dude, this is crazy. How is there a level 16 up top and there's level twos down here? Guess just shoot them. Whoo. Yeah, the, the turrets are, are not fun. Take some more health. More pirates up here. This is our last one. He's down. Okay, beautiful. This was our main... Into the outpost we go. Probably gonna have even more guys in here. Oh, yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? Barrett oh, seems casually you? happy. Hmm. What do you think? Unicorn. Not kidding. Holy <laughs> shit. You actually found me. Good to see I you, wish bud. I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. I love him. I don't know why, but yes. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Not is that sure a the pirate next to him? Is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matt Sarah. Real considerate. Might I be making allies with the Crimson. Together, Barrett, but I can't just let you go with nothing to show for. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Absolutely not. Um, hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. I'm not gonna attack him. You We're gonna use our me to diplomacy. All this with nothing to show for it. Yes. We've got three turns to do this. I mean, if you want to embarrass yourself, go right ahead. Look, Barrett has more trouble than he's worth. A lot of pirates are already dead. He does seem to be unusually skilled in that area. Um, I think we just need two more, right? You clearly get along with them. You're friends. A ransom isn't about how much Ooh. one gets along that with didn't a work. hostage. Shoot. Um, if you wanted bloodshed, you would have attacked already. We got him. True. There it has some good friends, it seems. Very well. I like the speech challenges. It's kind of fun. free to go. Dude, I knew it's being a, a pleasure, diplomat myself. was going to be the play. Really? Good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. <laughs> I mean, Barrett himself is pretty much a diplomat, huh? All right, bud. You're safe. So, back to the lodge. You just laughed it up the hey, whole time? You're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. That's a good point. Um... Honestly, I'm in Constellation now. I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Love it. All right. Well, okay then. Let's head back to the lodge. Barrett, we were worried. Home sweet home and the team is well, back. Some of us were. The whole I team see what is you back. did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's wondering if you ah. start country. Wait, is that a <laughs> new piece? And to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So next up, we've got Empty Nest. Sarah Morgan wants me to join an expedition headed up by Sam Coe. Another Constellation member will be going to Freestar Collective Space. I think... I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Sam Coe looking like a cowboy. He must poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. He must be Sam Coe, the Freestar Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. <laughs> Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. She seems spunky. Uh, glad to see someone so young taking an interest it helps in to space. Have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. 
Sam? <laughs> Not let it go to his head? <laughs> Impossible. A compliment from little Cora. It's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Yep. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. Free Star Collective. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. That's what we're here to collect. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah. Don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Hmm. Let's get okay. to Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. So we are gonna head back to our ship here and it's time to go explore a new frontier that we have yet to see. Everybody's on board, all ready for a long ride. Gonna be venturing out further than we ever have before. Love these cutscenes. So, so clean. All right. So, Freestar Collective Space is where we're heading. Let's see. We want to go to Aquila City. So, let's go ahead and chart that. It's an unexplored route. I'm going to jump to Olympus first. We're going to have to prepare for the, the grav jump here. I guess we're going to want full engines, right? We'll take lasers off. So we can't just go straight across the universe like that. We're going to have to kind of domino our way across. Welcome to Olympus. Okay, so now, ideally, we should be able to make it. Are you okay, Dad? You look tired. Grab jumps are sick. Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. No contraband to be found Join here. Brand new location. Looks like it just started a new day here at Aquila. Bringing some new visitors. Love how there's day night cycles everywhere. It's Real time, people are going around doing their okay. jobs and stuff. Is beyond me. I don't know. Pretty crazy. How you doing? All right. What's our plan, Sam? We're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. Fair enough. Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. First man on Aquila. Oh. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. So if we find this empty nest, we'll find the artifact. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Okay. Huh? So he was one of the first, or his family was one of the first settlers of this planet. Inhabited it. Dude, every planet just looks so different. This doesn't look bad, but it doesn't necessarily look inviting. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you, we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I don't think I need to steer clear of danger. Well, all I know I am the danger. is an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. I'll go talk to him. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. 
He's got a bank robbery in progress. We're going to talk to the marshal and see if he's going to let us help out. Tell me your demands at some point. You find someone we can trust and maybe we will. How about me? Like who? Not you. And not one of your rangers. And not these city guards, neither. I'm right here, sir. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Right here. You need to stand back now. I got you. I'll help you out. Sounds like you can use I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please stand back. I'm here with one of the Can founders of this dang town. I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cook. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Hmm. They what are they demanding? They say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. I mean, I'm a diplomat. Hmm. My specialty. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Protect Find the people inside, want, that's the goal. And then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. No pressure. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a the negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. Gonna hop this fence and let's go talk you're the negotiator, to the huh? leader. If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Oh, no, man. I just, uh, I, I want to get to know you better. I want to be friends. I'd like to know who I'm talking uh, to. What's your name? It's Jed. Jed Bullock. Gonna try to humanize us a little bit here. Um... Good to meet you, Jed. I'm Jace Chan. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I mean, technically you don't. I give you my word, Jed. I just want to help. I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Oof. You see anyone else stepping up to bail your ass out? No? Then drop the tough guy act because your life's on the line here. Uh, look, just calm down, okay? No need to get violent here. No way that worked. Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. That's right, Jed. So let's talk. Hmm. What's the condition we of the hostages? Too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Okay, what are we your demands? We guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are. They want to the get away. Crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Hmm. How do I know you'll keep what, your word? You think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no. Could take you oh, a while. Hell. Take a while to get your ship. Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? The shell's so breaking. Let's, just, let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Hmm. It's not too late to end think? this peacefully. Oh, shoot. It, you can tell he's a good guy. Those hostages did nothing wrong. Don't make them pay what for your... What? Place things right, they'll be home safe and sound in no time. Um. 
Shoot. I mean, this one worked before. I feel like that's not a good one, but this one just didn't work either. I'm going to try that. Nope. No way he wants that much blood on his hands. Oh, we're in trouble now. We need three more. Those hostages are just innocent bystanders. There's no need to involve them in this. You know the marshal can't let you get away with this. That's not bad. Don't force the marshal to make an example of you. That's a threat. I'm going to try this. Fudge, man! Dude, we won the first one. I thought we had him. I really did. Dang it. And you know what? I think we haven't messed with our skill points in a while. I think that's going to unlock the next level. We got the three out of three, so we can get rank two. We can rank this up. So now we could have talked to him. We've got persu persuasion guys rank two. Are scared. I can tell. Yeah, they're, they're tough guy exteriors breaking. Word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Can we send someone around the back? Must be something more we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. Let me talk to him again. I've got You've better already ruled skills out now. Them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages. Oh no. By taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. So you want me to sneak in there? If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. I could go in, not part of your security force, so I might be able to catch them off guard. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. Yikes. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Oh, shoot. Please, stay calm and let our security forces do their work. So we can go in the front door or the back door. I feel like the back door is probably the the best option. Oh, man. We're going to have to go murder these guys. I can tell they're not bad. I really don't want to kill anyone, but I think we're going to be forced to. I feel like this didn't go to plan. Let me, I'm gonna swap to this this guy. Oh, we don't have any health in it. Or any ammo, sorry. These guys are high levels. Take them down. At least one of them was. Don't you dare touch those hostages. Dead. We got him downstairs here. I feel like I was coming in st stealthy and then our our friend Sam here kind of messed things up for us. I don't think you're okay. Is everyone safe? We eliminated him. That's mine. Give it back. Don't try that again. Thank you so now I have two heroes, Solomon Coe and you. I got you, William. <laughs> He's really upset that we took his uh his his orange juice in there. I'm gonna make sure we pick up all the ammo. I'm always worried about losing ammo in this game. I mean I do feel kinda bad, but you know. You can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen, you can't rob a bank if you're not gonna follow through with it in the end, you know what I mean? Took care of business, sir. That was probably the easiest shot I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Stop we've ever had. Hostages That's safe. 
That's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Freestar Collective, they're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw gang, we'll grieve for them too. He seems like a good guy. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. I always wanted to be a cowboy, head sir. Head over to the rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. 3,800 credits. I will take that all day long. Yell back, see if we can get those maps. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Didn't even clean up the bodies in here. All right, we've got, uh... The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, so we want to check. Okay, now remember, Solomon is from play an earlier generation, burner. so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Check our different deposit boxes here. Mariner's compass, decorative pendulum. It's got to be in here. Note for Sam? What kind of a note for Sam? Let me check our inventory here. I know you... <laughs> Sam, I know you and your friends... Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Uh-oh. Sounds like we've got some trouble in, in paradise here. Jacob. Family member? Of course, that Brother? old mule saw this coming. Old mule? Who's Jacob? Why'd he take the map? old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Sounds like we need to there talk to go. him then. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. So he's kind of estranged from his, his family. Level with me here. We really gotta do this. Who's Jacob? Um... It's clearly a family member. Why don't you just tell I'm me? just... been trying not to think about it. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Hmm. Thanks for opening yeah, up well, to me. Sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. <laughs> you know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay. This was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Ah, uh, he wants Sam to see his granddaughter. Ancestry. You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Hmm. This isn't about you or ancestry. It's bigger than that. Oh, Sam can talk on our our behalf. Just why do you two hate hate each other so much anyway? Let's get to the bottom of this. And it ain't out there in the star field doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Nothing's it's not about you or ancestry. Nothing. Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. Oh, so we're enemies right, right off the bat, enough. huh? Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Damn. Okay, well, vibes are not very high. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right. Let's talk options. And we might be able to steal the maps? Could Cora help? No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The last time she spends with She's on the ship her. outside, isn't she? We need those maps, Sham. She can help. Fine, fine, fine. Look, we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. Huh. 
Ask Cora for help. Talk to Jacob and have Sam distract him. Talk to Jacob and pers I think we can persuade him. Be reasonable. We need those That's maps, not Jacob. That's decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. Stays here. I mean, we could just kill him. Sam is living up to Solomon's legacy in his own way, exploring Can't space. I disagree that Solomon was an explorer. I'll admit. Let's go. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the map. Dude, being able to persuade is so clutch. Key. Look at that. I got it done, buddy. Go ahead and step out of my way, Jacob. Thank you. Grab these maps, and we are all good to go. Do you right. want to say bye or Let's something? See if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out, and no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There, found it. Oh boy, <sighs> that's a problem. Whatever it is, we can handle well, it. You ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, we already handled them pretty easily. Bringing outlaws justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. <laughs> let's get to that cave. Okay. So we got... Animals to deal with, outlaws to deal with. Sounds about right. Mr. Tate, he's a realtor. Has been trying to organize something for the folk of the stretch. He's a good man. Okay, shout out Mr. Tate. That's a new side mission. Dude, I'm telling you, it just like, it, it doesn't end. There's infinite things that you can do, see, say, participate in. It's it's wild. We want to just Most folk hop out here. Jetpack. I don't know how to use the jetpack, to be honest. I, I think we have one on, but I'm not sure how to fly. If we go to our inventory, we've got the Veterans Deep Recon Pack. It's a basic boost pack. I just don't... I don't know how to use it. I don't see a, a jetpack option on here. Bindings? Look through all the bindings here. I don't see anything there either. I Trust me, I've, I've ran around. I've tried to figure this out. I mean, a triangle is, is jump or... Y is jump, but you can't double jump. There's no, like, I don't know. I don't understand how to do it. Nothing quite as unsettling as running through dense fields of an alien. Dude, this game is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at the mountain ranges off in the distance. How far, is this a bad idea? Should we have, like, it's not that far. We probably could have gone back to our ship and then, you know, flew here. Elk. Cram gone. What the f Oh, shit. Oh, sh... I'm just gonna keep running. There's ships overhead. We've... Hopefully he's okay. I don't I don't like this. I'm just gonna keep running. Just gotta get to the top of this hill here. Come on, let's go. Gotta be careful about our CO2. We made it to the empty nest, and here's the Shaw gang. Is he with us? You make it? He made it. I wonder what sort of contraband these smugglers are running. Time to get to work, baby. I'm gonna push down here. Be careful about this explosive barrel right next to us. He's dead. We got robots? Hang on a second. I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna shoot this when they run by. Shoot, we're gonna be fine. Can we... Go in here? We could just go in here. Perfect. Are they gonna chase us? Look 
They will. Things are blowing up. If we can get him to, to come this way, we can blow it up again. We're almost out of ammo. We are out of ammo in most everything. Shoot, this is not good at all. Oh, we've got this this pacifier. The, the shoddy. Dead. Oh, this thing's a beast, huh? We're going to start using our better weapons. Be careful. Dead. Dead. We just have this robot left. Dead. Let's go. Is our boy gonna come in here? Is he? Is he alive? I don't really want to go back outside. We're already in here, so I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing. Pick up all that ammo that we can. We just got some sort of a key. Fragmentation mines. We got any med kits in here? We've definitely been blowing through the med kits. We've got three left. A couple pistol bullets now. 40 Why would you say something like that? That's such a bad thing to say. I'm gonna check in here. Ooh. Disassembler Equinox and some ammo. More shogging coming. You gonna open this door or are you just gonna sit there? This Equinox is one of my favorite weapons. Got a new one here. Where are you running to? Caves and everything are just not good. Let me pick up as much ammo as we can. Just going deeper into the caves. Who knows what's going to be down here? It's so, dude, I, I hate this. This definitely seems very artifacty, though. I'll tell you that. Is this a piece? We found a piece. Let's go, baby. Use a weapon to break up the deposit. Moving through the in entirety of the universe. Might be clues in that. Interesting. Yeah. Fine. Let's get going. I I agree. Let's get out of here. Okay. So, another piece of the artifact. Got to witness the effect on us this time. This time it didn't knock us out. Able to, to experience the entire thing. Maybe that's going to be a, you know, something that's going to lead us to more answers potentially. I have no idea, but I think it's going to be time to get back home. There's nothing in there. Yeah, we're starting to get kind of into weapon case. I'll take that. We're starting to get into territory where I feel like we're starting to... Ooh, contraband cash. We don't have expert unlocking. I'm having a hard... Ooh, there's a... Digipick. I'm having a hard time... Rhapsody on Windy Night. I'll take it. Um, ammo and, and just like weapons and stuff. I feel like I'm starting to kind of fall behind a little bit. There's a cutter here. If we wanted that. I don't think we need it. Those things are really heavy. All right. Let's just get out of here. I don't like starting to run out of ammo, though. Like, I feel like we're starting to dig deep, and it's it's just not really ideal. Ooh, who is this? I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we... This is Shaw? You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who 
I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other. I wonder if we're gonna be able to dissuade her. Mm, we could work this out. No need for oh, really? violence. Let's hear it. Now this is a big one. We got past all your crew before you fight us, you'll lose. <laughs> Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. Okay. I don't think she's going to care about science. I'm happy to settle this the old-fashioned way. Easy, easy. Let's see if there's another she way out fight. of this. She didn't want to fight. She's scared. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Let's go, baby. I see you again. You're dead. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Do I even want to know what an Ashta is? It's over here. Oh, okay. All right. I've, I've got a couple new weapons equipped here. Stuff that we actually have ammo for. We're getting crits on it. Let's go. Dead. Antimicrobial and fiber. Let's go. Whatever this thing is, it's pretty good. Take both of those. We have one more over here. I kind of want to use the explosives if we can. Last one's over here. Oh. Oh, she died. Dude, she died. <laughs> Shaw's dead. The whole the whole gang's done. Oh god. Oh how? How did it get? Here we go. Reload. 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 Got it. Are you good, bro? Shoot. We're, I think we're out of ammo again, dude. The ammo situation's really not good. What is that? You get one shot. How do I use this? We've got the lawgiver. Let's put put this on. Why is it only letting me shoot once every time? I'm so confused. Is this glitched? It's glitched. I think. We got him. Okay. Well. Unfortunately, she died. So, there's that. Back home at the lodge, I can see why she gave up so easily. She was not ready to fight. I almost just killed my companions. Something's wrong with my controller. I'm gonna have to fix it. We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. One it's more artifact into the collection. Here. I haven't Vasco, picked up any we kind haven't of run a frequency deep diagnostic signal on you coming in a while, have we? That doesn't I do not much. know, sweetie. This thing could be... Uh, something what did you call me? <laughs> I did not formally address you, honey. Vasco, as soon as what you finish. just said? I did not formally address you. <laughs> Why would either of those things? I feel like this is the important conversation, but this is more entertaining. To begin the diagnostics, I'm gonna walk this way. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. Great, I hear that. Did this to you? Moving forward, sometimes means I do not know what you mean, Mister. Think Cor and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Beautiful. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Great dad, Sam. Even better man. Yes, sir. Catch you later. Likewise. You know where to find us. Beautiful. Ever since I got here. Alright. Level up. We've got some more skill points. We've got another piece of this puzzle here, but still doesn't feel like we're all that close. What is wrong with my... Okay, I'm going to restart the game. I, I'm going to end up killing somebody important. It's going to be bad. A restart got us all fixed up, but uh, I think this is a good spot to stop this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for tuning in. This game truly blows me away, dude. The, the polish, the graphics, and just honestly, the scale of everything is absolutely insane to think. 
how we are barely scratching the surface here. Look at all these people all living their own lives, all these conversations you can tune in on. And to think that this is just one planet and one solar system and we have a map full of solar systems. Every single one of these dots is a place that you can go and explore and meet people and fauna. And it's just like, truly, this is one of the biggest, most insane games I have ever seen. With that being said, I think this might be where our journey with this game ends, at least here on YouTube. I do intend to play quite a bit more of this on my own time, but I just, I don't think I have the time to be able to cover it here on the channel. There are so many games that are about to come out. I've got a fairly busy travel schedule. You guys have seen the vlog channel starting to pick back up. I just like, I don't think I have the time that it takes to do this game justice. I read somewhere that Starfield will take around 40 hours to complete the main storyline, which is already a huge game in and of itself. But that's not really doing it justice either. The magic of these massive RPGs that Bethesda makes is to branch out, explore on your own, take on side missions and quest lines and things and it's just like you could invest hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of hours into this game and still not touch it all so uh, i just i think it's a little bit too much for me to chew at this point in time bunch of exciting videos and series we're going to be starting soon so hope you guys understand but uh, truly really blown away by this thing i'm looking forward to uh that we just fall into here. I'm looking forward to checking this out on my own a little bit more, kind of slow playing it. I don't even know if I'll ever finish it, but um, it's something, man. This game is truly, truly incredible. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace out.